Hey Sojourn, uh, a couple of updates as we make our way through Holy Week and toward Easter. One, reminder that tonight, 8.30 p.m., YouTube live stream, we're going to meet for a night of prayer and worship. We'll have a time where we have prayer read over us, where we sing songs together, uh, and where we will open the chat function to post prayer requests so we can be praying for one another. Tonight, 8.30, YouTube live stream. Two, Good Friday. A Good Friday gathering is one of my favorite nights of the year where we have come together, we go through a series of readings, we sing a series of songs as the room gets darker, and then we leave with sobriety in our hearts and minds ready to come back and celebrate the resurrection of Christ our King. This year, we're gonna post the same series of readings and those same songs on our website where we will, with family, with friends, with neighbors even, go through that the same readings, those same songs as we prepare our hearts with the same kind of sobriety to celebrate the resurrection of Christ on Easter Sunday. We want to encourage you to, to make your way through those readings by reading them out loud. Consider doing things like darkening the room that you're in, what, whatever it takes to, to, to prep your heart for the kind of sobriety we need to enter into Easter with. Third, Easter Sunday. This Easter uh, will be an Easter unlike any we've experienced before, and what we hope, Lord willing, unlike any we will experience together again. As we have in the weeks past, we'll meet at 10 a.m. on our YouTube live stream, and then from there we will go to our website where we'll have our Easter Sunday liturgy, the, the readings and the songs and our sermon posted. So Adrian, this is what we want to ask you to do this year. We wanna ask you to take the link uh, where, where our sermon will be and, and our songs will be and our readings will be and to share it. Share it with friends, or with family, with neighbors, with anyone that you think might want to hear what the resurrection of Jesus has to say to life in a global pandemic. Because we're going to be looking at John 20. And that inside the text, embedded in the text that we're looking at, is the fear of death, the reality of doubt, and the hope of the resurrection and we don't know what could be more applicable to us or to our neighbors in the midst of a global pandemic than that. So I encourage you to share with anyone, with anyone that you think might want to hear what the resurrection of Christ has to say to life, life today and specifically life in the midst of a global pandemic. We love you, Sojourn. We love you so much. We'll see you tonight. 8.30 p.m. YouTube live stream for a night of prayer and worship.